These new fiend cards are crazy for Yubel, Unchained, maybe Labyrinth, Magical Musketeers and a bunch of other decks. If you enjoy discussions like this, of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel. It's time for an Unholy Requiem with Fiendsmith. So very, very cool art right here, first of all. Again, always nice when the art matches everything. This card says, level 6, Light Fiend. You can only use the first, second and third effect of this effect of this card's name each once per turn. So this is again... One thing you gotta know about modern Yu-Gi-Oh! If a card has three effect, it's probably gonna be pretty good. It means it has a lot of little things it's gonna be able to do. Uh, lots of options to synergize, lots of options whenever you're playing with the cards. And so, like, that's a good start. Now, first of all, you can discard this card. Add one Fiendsmith's spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. So it is a searcher. It is not a Kashtira Unicorn type searcher where you can, like, special summon it and then activate the effect to search. This is more so a discard it, so that's slightly worse. But we'll keep going, we'll see. Second you can target one fiendsmith equip card you control and one monster on the field send them to the graveyard so there's gonna be some equipping going on um it's gonna be with link monsters though so this kind of means it's like removal right so going second you're gonna start link climbing and then this is gonna be able to send some of your equipped links again more on that later and then start popping stuff which is pretty cool it means you're not really minusing to do removal and then if this card is in your graveyard you can shuffle one other light fiend monster from your graveyard into the deck slash extra deck special summon this card so it is an extender so this card already is looking really promising it's a searcher it's removal and it's also going to be an extender so that's very crazy already and then we have a fusion so this is somewhat of a fusion archetype but it's actually not reliant on it again more on that later so this is a level six light fiend fusion effect monster it requires two light fiend monsters okay so two of those fiend smiths for example then you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn okay so if this card is fusion summoned you can target one light fiend monster in your graveyard or banishment either add it to your hand or special summon it so it's either gonna give you follow-up or it's gonna be an extender which is always great then monsters your opponent controls lose 600 attack that's cute but it doesn't really matter that much and then if this card is sent to the graveyard you can shuffle one other light fiend monster from your graveyard into the deck slash extra deck inflict 1.2k damage so that means you already have a win con in time so that is always fun when that's built into your deck we saw that with prank kids we saw that with sword soul i think flu can do it i'm not so sure about that so so you know of course it's not something you have to be looking at as whoa that's gonna be great a win con but if your deck is not gonna auto lose in time that's already pretty cool you don't have to play bullshit like agave dragon or sprint scatter shot which is always fun we have the bigger fusion it is a level nine light kind of like kaleido hearts it requires fiendsmith and two light fiends hey so that's literally like kaleido heart the kaleido heart was rhino heart and two aqua and this is the Fiendsmith plus two Light Fiends. Okay, you can only use this card's name first and second effect once per turn each. So first quick effect can negate the effects of a number of phase-up cards on the field until the end of this turn, up to the total link rating of the link monsters equipped to this card as equip card. Okay, so again, you're gonna have link monsters equipping, and this card says that you negate phase-up cards on the field. So that's interesting because that means it's an omni-negate, you know, not from anywhere, but at least on the field. You know, your opponent activates a triple tactics talent, you just just choose that. There we go. Negate it. Your opponent activates a change of heart. You choose that. Negate it. Your opponent special summons Kashira Fenrir. You choose that. Negate it. So this is already actually pretty good. This is an actual Omni in the archetype. And a second, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can shuffle one other light fiend monster from, from your graveyard into the deck or extra deck. Then target one card on the field. Send it to the graveyard. So this is non-destruction removal whenever this gets outed. That is also really good. And you're going to notice there's actually a trap card that can also send this from the extra deck to the graveyard. So then you also have some more removal as well. All right really solid so far then this is something people are going to be very afraid of we have a link one <laughs> yeah whenever whenever archetypes get link ones you, you know something's gonna go horribly wrong so this is a link one light fiend link monster and it points downwards which is also a big deal you know when it points downwards it's gonna be easier to link climb with so material one light fiend monster so this is where people are gonna go, go through their collections go through dueling book gonna see oh okay every light fiend which light fiend exists come on let's see so any light fiend monster makes this which means the fiend smith also makes this you can only special summon fiend smith requiem once per turn all right fair enough and then you can only use a second effect of this card's name once per turn so during the main phase quick effect you can tribute this card special summon one fiend smith monster from your hand or deck well that kind of means that the first one is also once per turn right because you don't have another way to get this out anymore but okay so this you get rid of it and you get a, a fiend smith onto the board and then the second effect is you can target one non-link light fiend monster you 
you control, equip this card from your field or graveyard to that target as an equip spell that gives it 600 attack. So you can equip this to the Fiend Fusion from earlier or to Fiend Smith, and then the Fiend Fusion would become an Omni Negate for one card because this is a Link 1. Now, so far, you're not really seeing yet why this engine is so silly broken, but you're going to see it very soon. So now the Link 2, which is also very interesting. Uh, Link 2, Light Fiend, Link Monster, um, has good arrows, you know, bottom left and bottom right, and it needs two monsters, including a Light Fiend monster. This means any two monsters, but one of them has to be correct. So it could be like a Karibo <laughs> plus a Light Fiend. So the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Fiend fusion monster from your extra deck by shuffling materials mentioned on it from your graveyard into the deck. So that means the Link 1 from earlier, Fiend Smith, and so forth. You can just shuffle them from the grave into that kind of Omni Negate we were talking about. Now then you do have to put this guy somehow into your grave in order to turn into a Link equip for that Fiend Fusion monster to give it the Omni because second effect is you can target one non-Link Light Fiend monster you control, equip this card from your field or grave to that card to that target as an equip spell with this effect. Okay, so you don't have to send it to grave, you can do it from field. And it gets the effect your opponent cannot target the equipped monster with card effects. So no Imperm on that Omni Negate, uh, no Forbidden Chalice on that Omni Negate. Now, interestingly about this first effect, and of course we're gonna have to cope on tier again, Kaleido Heart is actually a fiend as well. <laughs> so if you have some access to light fiends in the deck, you could play this and then you could shuffle back Rhino Heart and other Aquas from your grave to the deck in order to just fusion summon a Kaleido Heart out of nowhere when you make this Kai. So I think that's real actually. I think you can literally like slam the Fiendsmith engine because yes, it's possible as an engine, you will see later. Uh, you can slam that into tier elements in my opinion and then going second, you can just make this, make a Kaleido Heart and then start spinning your opponent's stuff. So that is really big. Also, you can make Grafa with this. The Dark World Fusion requires one Grafa whatever the hell and a Dark. So if you have a Fusion Substitution card in your graveyard, or if you actually play Dark World, you go into this, you literally make an Omni Negate with this card. So this is relatively generic. Of course, it's not fully generic. You're still going to have to play a Light Fiend. But, you know, in piles, in tier elements and so forth, I can see this seeing play, assuming you can fit the Fiendsmith engine. And of course, the second effect is mostly for uh, actual Fiendsmith, because there's not that many good non-Link Light Fiends. However, Majesty's Fiend is a non-Link Light Fiend. Fiend. More on that later. Now, next up, have a Fiendsmith Tractus. Normal spell card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first effect is add one light fiend monster from your deck to your hand, then discard one card. So you can search for Fiendsmith. You can search for Majesty's Fiend. Yeah, that's right. Nice and toxic. There's some other ones that are cute. Like, again, people were talking about Magical Musketeer. Maybe Lithium will become right. Maybe it will become the new Zodiacs. So that, that's all nice and dandy. And then you can also banish this card from your graveyard to fusion summon a Fiendsmith fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. So this I really like because usually when you are playing fusion type strategies, you're going super minus. You have to use the monster materials, usually from like field and hand. And then you also have to use the fusion spells. So you're going so minus with all these cards. And of course, later on the line, we saw Konami kind of fix that by creating stuff like Branded Fusion and Shadol Fusion, where you're fusing from the deck, which means you're no longer at least minusing with the materials. We saw tier elements kind of fixing this by using the materials from your grave, no longer really having to minus. And now this card kind of, again, is not really minusing because at least the spell is just something you already used anyway. But of course, I think generically speaking, it's the first part that's going to come up the most because you can at least go and search your uh, Fiendsmith with this. What you can also do is search Santa Claus. So any deck that makes a towers, I'm sorry. If Fiendsmith is real, your deck is not because suddenly you could like side one Santa Claus and then this card can just search an out to any towers in the game. That means you are playing four copies for only one non-engine slot because your engine is looking for the non-engine. So that's also something cute. Now we have this quick play spell that I kind of glues it all together. This says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control no phase up monsters or all phase up monsters you control are light fiend monsters, special summon a fiend smith token which is fiend and light and you cannot declare attacks for the rest of this turn except with fiend monsters. Then if 
a phase up fiends monster you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while this card is in the grave you can set this card so cool a little follow-up as well but the first part here is really really important because it means that you can discard fiendsmith then fiendsmith looks for this spell then you activate this spell you get yourself a token the token can go into the link one the link one goes into a fiendsmith then the fiendsmith from your graveyard comes back shuffling back the link one and now you have two level sixes on the board which you can overlay into either beatrice or Caesar. This means that inside any graveyard deck, you now have six cards, because again, this can search Fiendsmith, uh, albeit with like a discard. Uh, you have six cards and one semi-brick, that's not really a brick, that create a Beatrice just out of nowhere. So if you are, again, any type of graveyard pile, boom, free Beatrice and you haven't even normal summoned yet. But then inside other decks, you might be able to just make a Caesar. Again, six cards for this one semi-brick, boom, have a Caesar. Have this ridiculous bullshit floodgate monster. I think both Beatrice and Caesar are actually going to get banned purely from these cards. And so, yeah, Nibiru proof just like that, don't really care. Of of course, there's other rank sixes as well, the Pto Ptolemy or whatever the fuck that name is, but this is scary. This is really fucking scary. Now, of course, there's going to be other Fiendsmith cards eventually coming out, I assume, because these, like, these seem to be part of something bigger. But even just as a tiny engine, splashing this into so many things is fucking terrifying. This kind of feels like a new adventure engine, because because you didn't even use your normal summon. At least the adventure engine turned that off. Now, of course, the biggest restriction here is that you cannot declare except for with fiend monsters so this means that okay going second with other decks that aren't fiend related not being able to otk is a pretty big bummer so that's the only reason i think this won't be an adventure engine type thing Except for maybe inside fiend, inside fiend decks. Again, we saw Yubel already getting some new stuff. We know Valmonica, half of the monsters are fiend. Memento has quite some fiend monsters. So it's perfectly possible that it, rather than the year of fire, once that ends, we might see a year of fiend, you know? I know some people were talking about, you know, it being year of light because we saw light storms and then this, but okay. Oh, also interestingly about light storms, this card, searching a light fiend, can actually look for light storm wise, which is very solid because light Lightsworn Weiss is like a really good starter now for Lightsworn. So there's also Lightsworn support. There we go. Now, the final card here is the Trap. This says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Okay. And then target one level seven or higher Light Fiend monster you control. Send all cards on the field to the graveyard except that monster. So you have a board wipe that also wipes spell and traps. That's really big. This is like Prank Kid's Battle Butler, but on a guy that was an Omni Negate. So you will literally have like activate the Omni Negate and then they try to push further then you activate the trap wipe the board if they then have another push you can banish this from the graveyard for the second effect if your opponent special summons a monster while this card is in your graveyard banish it send one fiendsmith monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard so then you send the big fusion and the big fusion said when it's sent to the graveyard you shuffle one other light fiend monster from your grave into the deck or extra then target a card on the field and send it to the graveyard so once again um literally this card plus that fusion is like omni negate then wipe the full board special summon some something new you send another copy to the grave from the extra deck and boom you have another pop so this is really really solid this is really really scary but i do not think the trap is that good just yet because we don't really have enough fiendsmith cards yet from what i can see to really get it set up the other stuff all of it looks really really good and normally konami makes like an archetype and then it's completely unfinished <laughs> in the first set and then you can't really do much with it we've seen that time and time again and then later on they get more waves and it gets better and better and better but this time I feel like we actually got an archetype that it isn't finished. That's very obvious. But you can already do so much with it. And it's already being relatively game breaking, honestly. Like, I mean, of course, Hero Fire is broken right now. So that will have to end at some point. But once that ends, these cards are just so good good yeah i'm i'm hyped i'm so excited i want to max and bling this deck out this is cool let me know your thoughts in the comments down below be sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you soon ciao